Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm just doing a collection video as kind of like a filler video to be honest because I don't have a whole lot that is completely ready this week. Hopefully next week I should have actually two videos up. There is a fly in the room and it is already annoying me. So I actually have two videos which should be ready next week, not too sure, hopefully. But yeah, this week's video I am just doing a collection video of my belt collection, which I haven't actually ever done before. I've done a breeches collection, a polo shirt collection, and I have done a saddle blanket collection. Also, hit me up if you want any other collection videos. I might do an update one on my breeches soon, not sure. I also have a million hats, so I could do that sort of thing. And I don't know, there's not a whole lot of other things that I have like. A big collection of so yeah so I'm gonna get started and I thought I might as well start off with the one I am currently wearing this one is a pen piano belt I have had for just over a year it's got my initials on it if you can see there on the thingo on the thingo wow amazing language I got this with I believe three other belts from pen piano and I gave one to Kiv, a friend, and yeah, I love them so much, as you'll see, because I have a lot. But yeah, I love this one. This one's probably my most worn belt because it is that sort of neutral colour. And also, it's kind of like geometric, I don't know, like, it's not just like a brown or a black belt, it's like special it's got like lines and shit on it it's got lines and threading and stuff on it amazing it's got like triangles and stuff it's like a polo belt originally that sort of polo belt so yeah i might as well go through all my pan piano ones because i've started there so <laughs> Oh girl, I got a problem. Uh, double check that I'm in the camera, yeah, we're good. I got this one, which is a navy and teal one, which is my cross country colors, so it's just awesome. It's also got HLH on it, like my initials on it. And I really like this one because there's just so much color on it, so I use this one for cross country because my cross country colors are on it, so yeah. And oh, this one's so much more like ooh, fluffy than the other ones. And I got them all in 80 centimeters, and that is a bit big for me, as you can probably tell. But it's whatever. It's what it looks like, girl. Hell, hell yeah. I got this one next. Well, I'm going in like from newest to oldest. So this one my sister got for me for Christmas, which I love, and it is green and like cream and this is kind of brownie coffee color and dark green which I just love it just goes with anything green pretty much so yeah there's this one yes and then this one I got for promoting the brand a little bit because I already had one and I loved their brand so I was like hell yeah I will promote the shit out of your brand and it's like a sky blue and betten blue and cream color and I use this when I am wearing blue kind of things but not as often as some of the other ones that I wear oh, I keep doing it the wrong way why do I keep doing it like that amazing and this is the original one that I got and it's like white and red and royal blue and it's just like super fancy I like how it's like different colors in the middle you know if that makes sense like this is white and it's with blue and this is blue and it's with red and this is red and it's with white you know you get and yeah this is the original one that started me loving pan piano belts and I did it again and I used it for years and years. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't see her. Let's bring it out. Yes. Incredible. <laughs> I have a problem. This next one I leave in the float in case I forget a belt and my outfit just does not look right without one, for example, because I sometimes forget belts when I'm not wearing riding clothing or I didn't want to wear a belt because it was uncomfortable at first, so you know. Anyway, I got this one 
sorry, there's like a mirror behind so I can see exactly what the camera is doing. So I got this one in Handorf, which is a little German town which a lot of horse riders actually live in, but a little German town that's like half an hour away from here and it has like leather kind of leather carving, is it carving? I'm not sure. Leather embossing, I think is the right term. And I got this one from there and I just really liked it. It's kind of interesting, it's like very much leather in the sense that the back is very, you know, leathery. And also it's like my perfect colour. I've got a big belly. My perfect colour to do with like my tack. And what should I go from here? This one's the same sort of theme, so I'll go through this one. So this I got in the US when I went in 2014 and it is the same sort of colour, maybe a bit lighter than that one. And it's got all this embossing with that kind of interesting pattern, almost like Malaysian kind of looking pattern. And on the end it has a bucking horse made in the USA using unique materials imported from around the world. <laughs> Top grain leather. I'm not actually so sure where I got this in the US, but oh, that's kind of like a horse. It kind of looks like a horse. Do you guys see the horse in that? Interesting. I don't use this one a whole lot because it is a bit different to other belts that I use in that it's so much skinnier and not a whole lot of my breeches have skinny kind of bell loops anymore. They're all fairly big. And this one I've had for years and years. I don't know where I got it, probably like Target or something, but it's just got these little holes in it and I don't actually mind it. I still occasionally use it because it's so skinny. Like you can go the whole way because it's got holes the whole way along. And I just use it occasionally when I'm looking for something really small. And it's just got a very basic buckle. Oh, I'm getting real loaded up here. <laughs> this next one is another cheapie and it was actually my friend's and she stopped using it because it didn't really fit her that well. And it is a completely fake. So this is an orange Hermes belt that is completely fake. It was probably like five, ten dollars or something online. And the Hermes is obviously gold and it is orange with white stitching and they've actually done quite well because they've also got it embossed on there that and I probably have never used that because I just uh, I don't want to look pretentious and it's it's literally me just being like I'm trying to look pretentious but I don't have enough money to look pretentious so here's a fake one <laughs> But like H for Hannah, so you know, you get. <laughs> I look so ridiculous with this belt on. Now the next one, oh, I'll go through all the cheapies. Actually, this one. This one was from the same site as the Hermes one. I have probably used this like once or twice, and I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But it has this cantering or galloping horse on it and a hair, and in gold. I don't know actually what the brand is, what this brand is, but I don't know if it is a brand or if they just liked it or something, but I don't actually mind that sort of colouring, like it's a nice brown kind of shiny snake skin kind of looking belt and <laughs> this is where they have them all finished and this is where mine is, the holes in it. and. Yeah, I've used it probably once or twice, but I do actually not mind it and I probably should bring it out more, but because I have Cambiano belts and I really like them, I tend to just wear them most of the time. Now this one is one I've had since I was probably six years old and because I'm nostalgic AF and I don't know when to give things up, I still have it. So this is a baby pink studded girth. Which, can you just imagine like seven year old me or like six year old me just like living in boot cut jeans and this? Because that was my childhood and it is like filthy and I honestly would wear it again. Like it's not even that bad. Like it's, it's fine. 
it's fine. <laughs> and I probably got it from like Kmart or Big W. Big W is always where I used to shop as a kid, so I probably got it from Big W. But like, it's fine, you know? It's a cool belt, right? It's a cool belt. I'm just like rebelling away from society with the studs, you know? These next few are not cheap ones, but eh, this next one's still fairly probably cheap. It is American Apparel Extra Small Belt and Lordy, it is definitely extra small, but uh, I don't think it's quite as extra small as other ones. Actually, no, it probably is. That's really tiny. But around my waist, uh, it potentially doesn't fit. Not sure. Oh, yeah, it probably wouldn't fit around my waist that well. Which is a shame because this sort of belt I would wear with dresses as well as with riding gear. I just liked the oak bark ends of it with the white in comparison. But again, I don't use that many pairs of breeches with small loopholes so I don't use smaller thinner belts that much anymore. Next one I got probably around the same time it is from Bonnet Saddlery and it is by Iron Williams which is a very big South Australian brand and it's bloody expensive let me tell you that but I think this was for sale and I think I had a hundred dollar gift voucher so it wasn't nearly as much as other Iron Williams things but yeah so this is an Iron Williams belt that was made for the Sydney 2000 Olympics because I think a few bonnets, which is a saddlery in South Australia, I think a few of their sponsors went to the Olympics in 2000. So yes, this is a belt from that. And it also has this Sydney 2000 emblem symbol print thing, metal print thing. So it's got the logo on it. Got like 1996 on it. I don't know, but this is a really small belt. Like, girl, this is small, and it's one of the tiniest ones that I can put on, basically. This next one is by Ralph Lauren, and I got it in the US again in 2014. I got a lot of the belts in the US in 2014. There are so many flies in here. I hate it. I'm sorry if you can hear flies. <laughs> I'm such a good YouTuber, oh my god. But this one is really interesting. I don't use it that much because it is very big for me. And honestly, I'd like to cut it to shape or something. But yeah, it's got this end bit and then like two things. And then that's at the back. And then you put this through and you buckle this here. Yeah, like this. And that's what it looks like. It kind of reminds me kind of like a horseshoe or something. And it's this old gold looking colour. And it's got RLL on it. So, yeah, I, I do quite like the belt. And I do get compliments when I wear it. But I don't wear it too much anymore because it is very big. Oh, it's so big. I'm not struggling right now to get it on over like four other belts so yeah my belly oh I didn't put this one on <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a real fun time doing this ew yeah I feel like I'm doing a hundred layers of shirts except with belts and I don't know actually how many I have so this one is my second newest oh that just happened to work out the right way but I got this one in Greenhawk Saddlery in Canada because I quickly went over the border to Canada for a little bit when I went to the US recently and I got this belt which I just really like the look of and I didn't have one on me so I got this one and it's got this oak bark end thing can you tell what, what my favorite color is or my favorite shade of brown can you tell can you uh, and then obviously the end same color and then navy with white sort of detailing which I really like the look of and it matches my breastplate and my girth perfectly so I repped this every day in the US and it's a pretty wide belt so it doesn't fit on some of my breeches but yeah she's still good can you tell this one and this is my last one and most expensive and most ridiculous 
probably buy I've ever done. This is my first ever proper designer item I've ever bought in my life. And I will definitely not just be wearing this with horse riding gear. It will also be just like nice going out stuff as well. But I got this in a child's size because I couldn't afford the adults and the adults is like $1,000 and the child's is like $200. So it's a lot more reasonable. This is my Gucci belt. Uh, Gucci child's belt. I just got the largest child's size. It doesn't say exactly what size it is but it's like 60 something centimeters. It only just really fits me. But yeah, it is red with navy everything else and then unfortunately a silver GG and I really wish it was gold but uh, $1,000, $200, $200, you know. So it's nowhere near as wide as the original Gucci belts I don't think but I don't actually mind how wide this is I just wish it was like an extra centimeter or something wider so yeah look don't think I'll be able to fit it on me. No. This is actually really good in that it is very stretchy. So I can put it pretty much to the last hole any time because it is so stretchy. And so it fits oh, pretty much with all my breeches, even if they're low rise or if they're high rise. Obviously with high rise, it would fit a lot easier. But yeah, how's the belly? I really want to count how many there are now. I have to. How's the belly going? Oh yeah, pretty good. And if you haven't been scared off, I am actually doing these shirts and selling them at the Adelaide International 3-day event if you are going there. And if there are any leftovers, I will be selling them on the Startbox website. So you can hit that up and then I will be doing other designs and stuff. So if you are interested, you can follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be promoting it a lot more on there than here. Because there's only so many videos I can make without being a sellout. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to count the belts and I'll let you know in a second. I have 16 belts. Just, you know, if you're interested. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>